We have been told ad nauseum by anti-choice Christian zealots that life starts at conception and that abortion is murder. I have already debunked this notion in previous content because the Bible not only permits abortion, but it also encourages infanticide. The Bible literally commands people to bash babies against rocks and to kill their firstborn. Now, most Christians would not know this because they do not read the Bible. There are studies which show that atheists and agnostics are much more knowledgeable about the Bible than a run-of-the-mill Christian. Christianity is a religion which is faith-based and it discourages the use of one's intellect. Therefore, Christians can be manipulated to believe anything you want them to believe. Now I'm going to read some verses from the book of Acts, which shows that abortion is not murder, but is a destruction of a husband's property. This is Exodus 21 verses 22 through 25. When there's a fight and in the fight, a pregnant woman is hit so that she miscarries, but is not otherwise hurt. The one responsible has to pay whatever the husband demands in compensation. But if there is further damage, then you must give life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burn for burn, wound for wound, bruise for bruise. So clearly life does not start at conception. According to the book of Exodus, if the child is deleted and the husband's wife is not otherwise harmed, the offender only has to pay the husband for the destruction of his property. It only becomes an issue of life or life if the husband's wife is otherwise harmed. What we can deduce from these verses is that only husbands have legal standing to seek redress for an abortion. The public has no standing whatsoever. Moreover, since women were not allowed to own property, there are no damages and therefore no legal standing against an unmarried woman who has an abortion. Again, Christians are completely ignorant of the Bible. If they actually read and followed the Bible, they would not be Christian. At the very least, they would not follow the Bible literally. No one has the right to live inside someone else's body without the consent of the host. To force a woman to carry a child to term is to commandeer the woman's body without providing just compensation. It is slavery. Even if Christians truly believe that abortion is murder, they should not use the coercive power of the state to regulate morality. The fact that Christians do not rely on the power of prayer, but instead rely on the power of the state, means that the government is their God and they are worshiping a false idol. Even if you're not a Christian, it is very useful to have a proper understanding of the Bible so that you may weaponize their ignorance against them. For those who are interested in listening to the video I did showing that the Bible not only promotes abortion, but it also promotes infanticide, I have posted a link to the video in the description. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.